Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your career and money reading for July 2020. This is for the Sun, Moon and Rising sign of Sagittarius. It's a collective reading of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, you guys know the drill. Be sure to check your other signs for any additional messages that may be coming through for you. If you guys like my videos, please like, share, hit that subscribe button guys, I really appreciate it. We are growing so fast and I am just... I'm so grateful. So thank you very, very much. If you're new to my channel, hi, how are you? It's good to meet you. And if you're returning, hello, welcome back. It is so great to have you again. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Don't be shy about clicking that notification bell so you know when I upload again. Holy crap, that is a lot of cards. Oopsie daisy. All right, and as always, guys, if you want to book a personal rating with me, you can, of course, do so on the website I will address below. So without further ado... Sagittarius. Let's get into your money and career reading for July 2020. This is money and career for Sagittarius for July 2020. All right. Mm -hmm. Three of Swords. Hermit. King of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Okay. All right. You're sick of being broke. <laughs> I don't blame you. Okay. You're going to have to take a good hard look at yourself, right? You're going to have to take a good hard look within. You're going to have to figure out how you've co-created your, your current financial situation, all right? It's going to suck balls, but you got to do it, all right? First step is to take responsibility that your finances aren't where you want them to be, okay? Next, you got to sit in your power and know what you do want. Feel free to ask for help if you need to, Sagittarius. Okay, um, but you're kind of a fiery sign, right? Wands are fire. You are, this is you. You can absolutely sit in your power and own it. Own your mistakes, all right? Then you're going to start building a new relationship with money. Okay? Yep, yep. Like I said, sick of being broke. It's time to, you're going to, you're going to, you are going to look at your finances, okay? You're going to be strong enough to admit your mistakes and learn from them, okay? You're going to be surprised by how it makes you feel, okay? Your emotions are telling you a story. If you look at your spending habits and you're feeling embarrassed, that's telling you something. If you're looking at your finances and all of a sudden getting super defensive and feeling you have to justify everything, I mean, who are you justifying it to? This is for you, right? That's a message in itself. Pay attention to your emotions when you're going through everything and looking at your finances because that's telling you a story, okay? Yeah, you're blessed. You're blessed, all right? This is, this is a new opportunity for you to change your finances, to make them better, Okay, this tells me things like you're going to change up just a couple of things. It's not even like you're changing up a whole million different things because you do have a lot going for you. You are very blessed, but it's just you're going to switch up those one or two things that's going to just expand your relationship with money and make it grow and get stronger. Okay. Yep, we have a new cycle starting. That's going to slowly bring in the money. Okay, we're letting a few things go. We're, we're ending a cycle in regards to certain things in regards to our money mindset. Um, maybe it's like, I'm not going to buy coffee anymore. You know, maybe it's, you know, I don't really watch my Netflix that, you know, comes out of my account every month. I'm just going to cancel it for a bit. See how that goes. You know, whatever it is, like I said, they're minor tweaks, but they're going to pay off big time. All right, and the money's going to start trickling in. Yeah. Just, you guys own your mistakes. All right, don't fight them. Accept them, move on, and then you're going to have all the power in the world. And it's really going to be good for you. Yeah. Yeah, things are ending celebrations ensue, gratitude is going to come into the picture, money's going to start coming in. 
you are building new foundations, slowly but surely, okay? New foundations, new ways of looking at money, realizing what you don't need, maybe seeing what you do need to do, okay? You're getting clarity this month. Mm-hmm, yeah. Eye on the prize. Sun's gonna shine upon you. Things are gonna go well as long as you do the little bit of work you have to do and pay attention to your emotions. Then you can manifest. All right. I want you to have a positive um, emotions around money. All right. Because I feel like right now that's not there. That's what's lacking. So once you look at, you know, your feelings around money, what does it make you feel? Remember we talked about, was it defensive? Was it embarrassed? Are you you know, happy, but not content, you know, that tells a story. Focus on that. You'll get your clarity. You'll tweak one or two things. You'll own your power. And then boom, in comes what you want to manifest money-wise. Money starts trickling in and you're saving it. Okay. It's just a couple of tweaks. It's not even that much, but you have to be able to look at the whole picture and understand your feelings around money. It's not gonna it's not gonna be it's not gonna take a whole lot of work but it's gonna be life-changing when you do okay you can absolutely do this Sagittarius yeah it's good very good you got this <sighs> All right, that's all I have for you for this month in regards to your money and finances. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think. How are you going to tweak your finances? I'd love to know. All right, thank you so, so much for watching again, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.